St. Louis is filled with big, beautiful parks. There's Lafayette Park, Tower Grove, and don't forget the crown jewel, Forest Park. But when it comes to open, urban recreational spaces, size doesn't matter. I really believe that the city gets its personality from public space. Samantha Lee Smugala is a designer and strategist. She saw a potential in abandoned, unused pockets around St. Louis. I found myself taking pictures of dilapidated buildings and vacant lots and sketching things over them that would make them community friendly or more beautiful. I think the world needs more beautiful spaces. And so once I realized I was doing this, I said, you know, maybe I should actually do something with these. And she did. In 2021, she founded Pocket Parks. They're intentionally developed on a small scale using less resources. They're low maintenance, but designed to have a high impact. Pocket Parks works to revitalize neighborhoods to create a safe and engaging outdoor space. Vacant properties and buildings are known to be associated with violent crimes. By reducing vacancies in communities, Pocket Parks aims to reduce those statistics. A vacant lot is really a detriment on the health of the community, the health of people, physically, mentally. So we're creating a healthier, more walkable community and really beautifying a space. It's visually delightful and people can have you know, community pride. And it's available to everyone, no matter who you are. And everyone deserves beautiful public space. Pocket parks are active year round. In fact, they see the most action during winter, spring and fall. And Smugala says that organizing these parks, actually running them is manageable. And that's thanks to dedicated communities and committed volunteers. And while these parks, they are small, you can't miss them. Currently, there are five pocket parks in the St. Louis area, and they are developed using three critical elements. Art for a space with culture and personality, activation for a space that attracts visitors, and opportunity for a space where the community can hold events. This is her vision. Walter Bonner is the West End Neighbors Association sure, president, and, and this yeah, space will be the sixth park installation, the second in his neighborhood. Yeah, we have events there throughout the year. Uh, there was a wine and paint event there recently that I attended and it brought out 50 to 100 residents in the community who come together and discuss more than just parks. We talk about the entire community. So uh, food trucks, just kids, artwork. So it's really great for our community. It, it's a cohesive place we can all come together and enjoy and see where our community is going. As a nonprofit, we rely on grants and, and donors who want to measure our impact. So we know that within a 10 minute walking radius of each of our parks, how many people live there, what their demographics are, how many children, and who we're really providing value to. Uh, for me, it took a blank, empty field that was overgrown with weeds and everybody complaining about it and it gave it an entirely new vision and brought in beauty, to, beauty in our community, what was what in one area that was once blighted. And, uh, and we still have many areas like that, so more pocket parks are great for our community. For Living St. Louis, I'm Anne-Marie Berger.